So as you've seen from the um, view that we've had before, the bulk density of the product is critical to how much you can get in the fertilizer hopper. So here we have just a little experiment to illustrate how we work out the bulk density. Um, here we have just simply um, a cylinder that's exactly one litre. Um, we will meter the product into the cylinder so we have exactly one litre. We then weigh the litre to see what it is in terms of grams per litre. Uh, the conversion then is just straightforward. Whatever it is in terms of grams per litre then becomes kilograms per cubic metre that we've had in the table earlier. If we start with a nitram on this bulk uh, density test, um, I'll pour the product into the top hopper. I'll then get my litre cylinder and fill it with nitram. Level off the top. measure my litre volume and that comes out at 982 kilograms per cubic metre. Here I have the first sample of urea that we used. Uh, so if I tip enough in there to fill the cylinder. Right, so then fill the cylinder with the urea. Make sure in th that it's as, as full as possible. You'll notice here as well I'm not really doing a tapped bulk density. Clearly if you tap, if you tap the cylinder um, and get the level down you'll squeeze more in but in practice all you're doing effectively is um, put emptying the bag into the spreader so it's right to do it this way rather than a tapped bulk density. So there I have my litre of the first urea sample and there we have the bulk density at 732 kilograms per cubic metre.